this morning I'm in Hong Kong and I just figured I'd make this video because I was thinking about this. I make videos, I write books, I write blogs, I podcast to people that are somewhat, I say up and moving. They want to be effective with their lives in something. They want to have a J-O-B, uh, they want to climb the corporate ladder, they want to start a company uh, for other people to have a corporate ladder to climb, uh, or they want to be skilled craftsmen. Now, some of them uh, may have religion, some of them may not. I myself am a non-Sunday morning, non-church-going Bible believer. We've got these three groups of people, people that don't want to have anything to do with uh, the Bible at all, and then we've got people that it's Sunday morning or bust, and then we've got the people that are, well, they, they, they want Bible, but they don't want Sunday morning, and they tend to fight with each other a lot. And that's, that's where I cut in, that's where I start throwing axes myself. Um, don't fight with each other. If you're one of those Sunday morning church-going Christians, to you, I'd say, um, if you've got a good thing going, great. Uh, don't attack people that don't want your good thing. Any, any opinion, no, ma no matter what opinion you have, there's always some book that's going to bolster your ideas and some book against. There's a book why people should vote Republican, there's a book why people should vote Democrat, there's a book why people should vote for a third party. I wrote the book on the third party. There's books as to why uh, people should uh, have Sunday morning if they want Jesus, and there's books why people shouldn't go to Sunday morning if they love Jesus. Well, I wrote a book about why they should love each other. Uh, there's lots of books about why the Bible isn't real and reliable, and then there's other books about why it is. Uh, for starters, uh, The Case for Christ by Lee Strobel. Another book is The Evolution Handbook. A lot of those science claims about evolution are just outright fake. And this 80-year-old guy documents all of it, proving it, in this book called The Evolution Handbook. Last time I checked, you can buy a box of 15 for $15. You might be someone that, that doesn't believe in Jesus at all. And to you, I'd say, let that rob you of the fact that the Bible may have some good ideas. Read the books that you like. Read them all if you want. Don't just read one group. But I'd say this, just make sure that you live an effective life. If you're one of those growing number of Christians who want the Bible but you don't want the Sunday morning thing, you don't want the pastor gig, uh, that's okay. I suppose there are several reasons for that. But in a nutshell, it's really hard to get a fresh perspective without taking a break. Keep doing as much as you can to be effective. Don't judge each other, don't fight. Don't fight, that's the big thing. 